Hi, Jeff. Hello there. I'm so happy to have you at the 12th annual We've Got Your Back race, hosted by Virginia Spine Institute. You are a spinal champion and just did a mile. I did a one kilometer walk. Fantastic. Yes. It was a little different than a mile, but it was, uh, <laughs> it was my first real walk in a month since the, uh, the uh, operation occurred. And what operation did you have? So Dr. Gizzini did a, um, a rear fusion, a spinal fusion, from C3 to T2 with about, it looks like a pound of titanium and bolts and steel that are stuck in my neck right now. So I'm one month post-op. Everything seems to be working. That's incredible. Pain levels back down a bit, and uh, so I'm starting to get more mobile right now. And obviously functionality levels are increasing. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. great. Yeah. I understand that you have a bit of history with with your spine. Do you yes. care to share a few words about that? Yeah, it's not my first time. I broke my neck when I was 16. I broke it in six places in the high cervical regions, but none of the uh, broken vertebrae managed to nick the, the spinal column. So I was one of almost no one else that walked out of that hospital that summer, and I recovered completely. But over the last 40 years, the vertebrae below the, the previous fusions has taken its toll, and they had to do a, um, an ADCP on the front back in uh, 2009. That one failed. They did one in August of last fall. That one didn't quite go as well either because I'm, I'm too mobile. I was just too active at the gym, I guess. So Dr. Gizzini says, okay, we're going to go in the backside and we're going to make sure it doesn't move this time. It's a lot of steel in my neck right now. Well, it seems like you're doing very well. And hopefully in a couple of weeks, we'll continue to see improvement. You've seen a lot of change over the last 30, 40 years with technologies. You know, Virginia Spine Institute, obviously, it, you're in great hands there. You know, I, I selected them after a lot of research online, and I've been coming to see uh, the uh, Institute BSI for probably three years now, and various pains and other instances that are going on in my body. But I've learned to trust them. I like their science. But when the science first started in 79, there wasn't any. They put me back together with steel wire and bones. A lot has changed since then. It's a lot different. So when I first started doing uh, research, well, it's been years since I've been doing it because my neck has always been on my mind. But when I, I first seen that they they took a rib out of me, they split that rib in half, then they used bone marrow from my hip, and then they used donor bone marrow, and then stainless steel wire, and it was a seven hour operation back in 1979. And it was weeks and weeks of recovery in the hospital. All kinds of tubes and hoses, worrying about infection. The incision wounds were massive because of the way they had to open you back then. And when I heard, of, uh, you know, years later that my neck was starting to fail, I learned that the, uh, the new ADCP was a, a very minimally invasive technology that used a very small amount of titanium that would go in and kind of uh, put those uh, two bones back together again to take some uh, relief off of some nerve damage. So, so that carried me for 10 years. And then again, my active lifestyle, I'm a pretty active guy, I do a lot of global traveling. I, I wore that out and I needed to have another one. And that one, they couldn't get the, um, the screw in the right part of the bone because the bone was weakening. So that was August of, of 2018. And in um, March of this year, Dr. Gizzini said, it's it's not fused. We're gonna have to go in the backside. And the technology differential is, is, is just completely different. I mean, the titanium, I use, they actually no use the Mazor no on my body, mm -hmm. which is the robot. It was one of the first candidates to use Mazor. And if you go online on YouTube to see what this thing can do and how ultra precise this machine is, in making Dr. Gizzini's operations very successful. Absolutely. And I'm sure, I'm not sure if you know, but at the Reston Hospital, they're doing the new ERAS protocol. No. Uh, that's the enhanced recovery after surgery. And right, compared I'll, to those weeks and weeks that you had you endured in recovering in the hospital in your previous surgeries, now the recovery time you I have found out of there significantly the day after. less. Exactly. I mean, after the operation, I had to walk from my gurney to my bed. 
and, and, and then the next day I walked out of the hospital. And that is that is the enhanced <laughs> recovery after surg surgery yep. in action. Yep. That's yep. wonderful. Yep. So what were was it difficult for you to find resources in researching online? No, the inter the internet has got everything there. I mean, you just you just keep on hitting on on different topics. You do this study. I was studying on stem cell research, uh, BPM, which is that uh, recombinant DNA uh, mm -hmm. that helps the, the bone fuse more. Uh, it's kind of painful because it adds a lot of inflammation area while it's fusing. But ultimately, you know, you put up with the pain and so you can get on with life. Persevere, as you yep. said. Yep. Well, the National Spine Health Foundation is looking to be that trusted source for patients like right. you who you rather than scouring the internet for your there. weeks and weeks we're hoping to be that trusted source that we can, you can get all of your questions answered uh, provided by physicians like at VSI so hopefully you won't have to deal with that too much in the future but that's that's what we're hoping for for our future what do you say to anyone else that might be in your position a month post-op and how, how can you inspire them to come to the race next time when they might not envision themselves being able to do so? Persevere. Don't give up. You can beat anything if you want to. Well, you are obviously proof of that. So thank you for being here. Thank you.